Hello there everybody, it's so Butter Nerds Wigan Hammer and welcome back to Higuroshi Kai. I'm going to feel utterly sick to my stomach because I have a very sick feeling I know what's going to happen next. So let's jump right in without hesitation, with actually a large amount of hesitation as I'm still getting that sick feeling in my stomach. Let's move on. Uh, I'm not gonna... Oh, great, great, great. Fantastic, we're just starting off like this. Kimiyoshi was hanging from the collar, with his head turned up to the ceiling. He didn't even move when I walked in. Maybe he's already dead? Satoko was lying on a cross-shaped restraining table. She, gra she glared at me with red and swollen eyes, which must have been that way from crying. I'd wanted to put her on that special restraining table to pound nails into her hands, but Satoko was too small for that. God! I walked up to Kimiyoshi and poked his body with my toe. There was no response. Maybe Satoko had witnessed Kimiyoshi's last moments. I took a thick knife from the wall and stabbed Kimiyoshi with it. There was no response. You just fucking stabbed him, I'm pretty sure he would immediately respond. I walked over to the pulley that was suspending Kimiyoshi. I paused just for a moment, then turned the pulley. <sighs> Kimiyoshi's body swayed strangely in the air. It looked much more like a corpse like that. The door to the huge cave was still open. I bet Satoko had talked to the one in the cell while I was gone. That's how she knows my name. Although, that's actually not my name at all. <laughs> I had allowed Satoko to watch me take care of Rika's body. Fuck! Of course, I let her see Rika's neck. Mm. <laughs> そんなことあるわけありませんわ。リカがそんなことするわけない。信じないならそれでもいいよ。あんたにはどうでもいいことだし。私はどうするつもりなんですの？I'd rather not know. 殺す。That should have been obvious. Satoko's eyes went wide. She was expecting my answer, I'm sure, but she still looked shocked. I bet she didn't expect me to state it so openly. I heard the noise of something hitting iron bars echoing in the huge cave. Shion's voice echoed there as well. I answered her clearly. Before even finishing my sentence, I stabbed Satoko's right <laughs> right arm. Her blood started to flow out. This was nothing compared to what happened to Rika Furude. I I twisted the knife into Satoko's arm. She bit down hard, crying. <laughs> Why couldn't you say that for Satoshi-kun? It's too late now. I was the one screaming like you back then. But no matter how loudly I screamed, it never reached them, spared him, or saved him. 
I want you to go through the same thing I did. I stabbed Satoko's arm repeatedly, but the knife kept hitting her bone. It didn't feel like I was cutting any of her flesh. よし、よ。じゃあこうしよう。さあ、どうするの? She even started to apologize like a broken record. She's so stupid and honest. She's not even thinking of cheating. I bet Shion really will count to 1,000. I stabbed Satoko in the wrist. There I felt something hard. I guess I either crushed her bone or scraped it. <sighs> It must have been extremely painful for her. Satoko screamed. Shion's voice got louder as if trying to overpower that scream. The knife was still in Satoko's wrist. I slid it toward her elbow. Satoko? I slapped her face several times and made her look at me. あんたは自分の罪が分かってる。あんたの存在がどれほどにサトシ君を追い詰めていたか知っている。ニーニー。ニーニー。そう。あんたはニーニーって泣けばよかった。泣きさえすればいつもサトシ君がかばってくれた。でもね、サトシ君の負担ってものを考えたことがある。サトシ君はね、あんたのヒーローでなければ不死身でもない。あんたと同じに。傷つけば血の流れ、痛めば埋めく、全く同じ人間なの。あんたの代わりに矢面に
叫ぶと私を喜ばすと思ってせめて悲鳴を絞って抵抗ってわけ<笑>そりゃいいや Satoko was unfazed by my mad laughter. She looked at me with gritted teeth and resignation. Huh? <laughs> 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 ハマイテイタ。イニーの爪をかじり続けてしまった。うん、辛かったはずなのに、私はニーニーに巣がることをやめられなかった。その点につきましては、あなたの言う通りですわ。弁解の余地なんてありませんでしたよ。Satoko didn't sound as if she was mocking me or trying to please me. She spoke so naturally. ちょっと意外だね。あんたが自分の罪に自覚があったとはね。ニーニーはきっと帰ってきてくれる。いつかきっと帰ってくるんですの。でもね、帰ってきたら私もう一人前になっているところを見せるんですのよ。私、もうニーニーに甘えない。背中に隠れたりしない。しっかりした一人前になったことを教えてあげるんですの。帰ってきたらいいね。帰ってきたら。I stabbed Satoko's arm in a mad frenzy, but she still didn't even scream. She bit down tightly and swallowed her pain instead. くれますの。絶対に、絶対に帰ってきてくれますの。それまで待ってるんですのよ。そしてニーニーに今まで甘えてきて本当にごめんなさいって謝るんですの。それまで負けるものか負けるものかもう私は絶対にニーニーに甘
There's no way it doesn't. I've been stabbing her so much and the knife went in so deep. Her blood is poured to the ground. I've been turning her flesh inside out. How can she still talk that way? Why doesn't she cry and scream? After Satoko said what she wanted to say, she shut her mouth. She didn't say a word after that. No matter how much I stabbed her, twisted the knife toward her, and ripped out her flesh, she didn't even make a sound. What in the world is this? This isn't the Satoko I know. Satoko was never as strong as this. If Satoko was this strong, she wouldn't have been a burden to Satoshi-kun. Why wasn't she as strong before? It's too late. Everything is too late. This idiot's maturity came far too late. Her blood made my hand slippery and I dropped the knife. I was covered in blood from head to toe. Satko was still enduring the pain. She was enduring this cruelty so she could display her strength. I couldn't defeat Satoko. I couldn't crush her strength. Satoko had achieved her goal. She had become independent, so she didn't need Satoshi-kun anymore. She still believes Satoshi-kun will come back one day. She looks forward to a day when she can show her brother how strong she had become. But Satoshi-kun hasn't seen any of that. Instead, I, who never even thought that Satoshi-kun would come back, was the one who witnessed her strength. What was I thinking? I thought Satoshi-kun was dead. No, I assumed he was. Why did I? I never even thought of waiting for him. I didn't believe he would come back. I didn't wait. I tried to avenge him, but I guess what I really did was forget about him. Satko is different. She never even thought he was dead. No, maybe she did a little. But even so, she waited. She waited for a day when she could show him how much she'd grown. She waited patiently. What about me? I didn't do anything. I wanted to forget about my sadness, so I tried to find my enemy. I became a demon, using revenge as an excuse so that I didn't have to think like a human. I lost. I couldn't endure the pain of waiting for Satoshi-kun, so I chose to become a demon. In other words, I got rid of my soul, the soul that loved Satoshi-kun. In other words, I got rid of Satoshi-kun himself. Satoko won. While she had been gritting her teeth before, her mouth had gone slack. Her eyelids were half shut, but I could see her eyes a little. They looked like she was dreaming about something happy. Satoshi-kun was there in her eyes. Satoko endured until Satoshi-kun came for her. Satoko ran up to Satoshi-kun. She jumped onto him. Satoshi-kun hugged her and they spun around. You can cry now. Satoshi-kun told Satoko that, and she cried very hard. Satoshi rubbed her head so gently. We'll be together forever. He said and continued to rub her head so gently. So gently. Satoshi-kun, I was waiting for you too. What meaningless words. He was already dead inside of me. I never believed in our reunion. How pitiful of me to say that. Just because I saw Satoko and Satoshi-kun together again. As Satoshi-kun hugged Satoko, his eyes met mine. Chion, Satoshi-kun said. I asked you a favor. What favor? I tried to remember. What kind of favor did Satoshi-kun ask me? Satoshi-kun looked at me sadly, because I couldn't remember. That sad look tore my heart to shreds. The blood flowing out from me wasn't as pretty as Satoko's blood. My blood was a slimy liquid, like vomit with filthy chunks of food in it. That was what filled my body. あの
Huh? A memory of the past. But when? Ah. Of... This is a memory of the day before last year's Watanagashi. Satoshi-kun called me on the phone then. I remember this. His aunt was home, so I'm sure he wanted to hang up as quickly as possible. Satoshi-kun paused and spoke. I'll leave Satoko to you. My knees and elbows started to shake. My teeth chattered and my fingers were shivering. Satoshi-kun asked me to... Uh, what have I done? I couldn't wait for Satoshi-kun to come back, so I filled myself with evil thoughts and acted as I pleased. I didn't believe he'd ever return. I even forgot about Satoshi-kun's last request. How can I say I love him? I just wanted to forget about my feelings of loss, so I made myself all bloody. How can I welcome him back now? I didn't believe Satoshi-kun would come back. I didn't believe Satoshi-kun was alive. I didn't think he was alive, so I thought he was dead. I believed in his death. I killed him in myself. Nobody else did. I did that. Masatoko believed until the very end, and she was rewarded in her final moments. Satoko wasn't here anymore. She had no more need for her bloody, painful shell. But I'm still here, trapped in my bloody, tainted flesh. I'm going to rot inside of it. Satoshi-kun was waiting for both Satoko and me, but to be reunited with Satoshi-kun, we had to keep our promises. Satoko's promise was to be strong. Satoko kept that promise until the bitter end, and Satoshi-kun embraced her. My promise was to take care of Satoko for Satoshi-kun. I never kept the promise from the beginning. Therefore, Satoshi-kun will never embrace me. Even if I were to rub Satoko's wounds and ask her if they hurt, that wouldn't mean anything. That was when I felt something behind me. It wasn't Satoshi-kun or the thing that scared me before. I didn't know who it was, but it was right there criticizing me for my mistakes. Then, I finally realized it. That thing is me. I had always been there, standing behind myself and watching me break that promise. Satoshi-kun asked me to take care of Satoko, yet I didn't keep that promise. I had been watching that happen. I cried and gave up on myself. Wait, Satoshi-kun gave up on me, and I gave up on myself. What will happen to me now? I don't want to be in this darkness. I don't want to be all bloody. Please don't leave me. If I give up on myself, what will happen to my body? There will be nothing left. The only thing I'll have left in me is an evil demon. I get it. I've known it for a long time now. I am nothing but a demon. A demon doesn't feel sad. A demon's heart can never be in pain. A demon doesn't cry. Shion was still apologizing. She believed that was the only way for her to save Satoko. Her voice was growing hoarse and weak. I guess she realized what happened to Satoko. She own cried in her cell. そんな泣いたり叫んだりするのを見るのがこんなにも楽しいものだなんて知らなかったよ。
その後にあんたを殺し私も殺そうそうさ鬼ヶ淵村は鬼の村かつて鬼ヶ淵より湧き出した鬼が村を襲った伝承のある村私もまた伝承の鬼たちのように猛威を振るいそして親代様の裁きを待とうそれでこそ雛見沢村にふさわしい才華と言えるだろうね<笑>あケイちゃんですか私ですシオンです電話なかなか出なかったんでお留守かと思って切ろうとしてたんですよあああごめんちょっとそのお風呂に入っててさそれでもご家族の方が電話を取りませんかひょっとしてケイちゃんの家今ご両親はお留守なんですかいや別に留守ってわけじゃそそんなことより聞いたかリカちゃんとサトコだけい,いえ結局あのあとどうなったんですか見つかったんですかああ見つからなかったケイちゃんどうか気を落とさないで、うん、リカちゃんとサトコはさらわれたんだよなはいそれは間違いないでしょうねリカちゃんとサトコはあ,あいやあえっとあその村長さんはさらわれてどうなったと思うまだ生きてるんだろうか I think I'll be right back. My arm's bleeding suddenly. I didn't realize how hard I was gripping my arm. Okay, I'm... Okay, I'm... Um, back, I... Um, kind of had to wrap up my arm. I didn't know my nails were digging into my skin. Keiji sounded confused. He wanted to believe Satoko and Rika were still alive, which was why he was asking. Keiji was just like Satoko. Unless the culprit was after money, the abductee would usually get killed right away. I'd never assumed they'd still be alive, but Keiji was trying to hold on to a little hope. I could feel his strength. It was much greater than mine. I'm a demon, so I didn't come up with an excuse. その状態を維持するのってとても大変なことだと思います人質にするんでもない限りヨウが済んだら殺しちゃうのが一番合理的じゃないかと殺しちゃうってそんなにあっさり人の命を何だと思ってやがるんだ恐ろしいことだとは思いますが多分そうではないかと村長が殺されたということはリカちゃんやサトコを同じように殺されたかもしれないということなのかい,いやそのはずはどっかのじじいとはわけが違うぞリカちゃんだぞサトコだぞそ,そんなにあっさりと殺すはずはケイチは still refusing to believe what I said He fought so hard because he didn't want to kill his friends within him. I wasn't like that. I killed Satoshi Kun within me so easily. I blamed Shion for not protecting Satoshi Kun, but I killed him so easily. Rika ちゃんと Satoko ちゃんも同じだと思った方がいいでしょうね。Keiji roared and cried. It was like their deaths were physically agonizing to him. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I laughed at myself. I was sure Keiji didn't notice. そんな<笑> ダムどうして<笑> Of course, the curse of Oyashiro-sama never existed. It was just a bizarre environment that allowed people to kill in the name of Oyashiro-sama. The environment and nothing more. Nothing would have happened unless there were demons who danced within it. Oyashiro-sama <laughs> わたながしの旅に殺しと失踪を繰り返しているんです。やつらは狡猾でした。それに俺は過去のことは今更どうでもいいんだ。ピーカちゃんとサトコがなぜ殺されなくちゃならなかったのか。それにどうしてなんだ。サトコには打ち明けてすらないんだぞ。どうしてサトコまで。どうしてなん
Keiji's tone was becoming sharper. That edge was cruel, but it was a sharp conviction. It wasn't a dull edge that caused excessive pain. It had a clean, pleasant sharpness to it. あの、ケイちゃん、それが何か答えてくれ。知らないなら知らないと答えればいい。地だったのは知ってます。座る時とか辛そうでしたから。病院に通ってたんだ。どこの病院かは知ってるような。ごめんなさい。それはちょっと知
Hurry. Let me be free. <laughs> was he going to tell the police, or was he going to come here by himself? I wondered which it would be. If the police came, I'd struggle as much as I was able. I'd see how good Oishi would be at catching a demon. If Keichan came here alone, that wouldn't be smart of him. He couldn't complain about being eaten by a demon then. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him gruesomely while Shion watches. Therefore, Keichan, you shouldn't hold back. I only ever thought you were just a funny guy. I never thought I could expect so much from you. God damn it, that's just the halfway point. <clears throat> damn, my arm's stinging right now. It took them a long time to come for me. I had to wait until the following morning. I opened the gate without checking who was ringing the doorbell. I didn't even care who it was. If it was the police, that'd be fine with me. If it was Kei-chan... <laughs> Could he defeat me? Keiichi and Reina, or, and Rena were there. God damn it, I'm gonna call her Reina again. Oh, Reina's gonna be the first one to die. Oh, Reina's gonna be the first one to die. Oh, Reina's gonna be the first one to die. Oh, Reina's gonna be the first one to die. Oh, Reina's gonna be the first one to die. I didn't think Rena would come. I thought it would be either the police or Kei-chan alone. I'll try tricking Kei-chan into coming with me to the underground storehouse. Rena, why don't you try to figure out what I'm attempting to do and stop me? You too, Kei-chan. If you figured out I was Xion, why don't you try to figure out the rest? I will act like a demon. I will struggle until the very last moment. So don't hold back. Please don't hesitate to kill a filthy demon like me. Mio. Mazu. I didn't expect this to start with an apology. Okay, so he admitted his sin of entering the ritual storehouse. I guess that was manly of him. I don't even care if the storehouse is forbidden anymore. Whatever. That rule came from those who believed it was even a sacred place at all. Nio, Rena spoke with confidence. She wasn't even trying to gauge my reaction. She was simply telling me the truth. That cleverness was very pleasant to see. Rena sure is sharp. I tried to beat around the bush, but she was confident in her conclusions. She was cornering me. She was doing such a great job, too. It really put me at ease. Okay, demon. Rena knows what she's talking about. What kind of excuse are you going to come up with now? There it is. This game is over. Rena, I was right about you. I don't like you. You really are just too sharp. She is so obtuse that she never even recognized this side of you.
I laughed like crazy. I laughed because I was having so much fun. I sensed the poison inside of my stomach dissipating and felt free and refreshed. Keichan was threatening me. He was telling me I couldn't run or resist, so I should just surrender and accept my fate. You aren't doing that intensely enough, Keichan. Shouldn't you try shouldn't you grab my collar and knock me to the ground? Today's the day I'm prepared to die. After that, they went easy. Because they just wanted to know the reason why Mion committed such crimes. You all are being too lenient about this. I'm a demon. I'm a murderer. Are you saying that if you can understand the reasoning, murder is okay? A demon is a demon. A murderer is a murderer. Whether their motive is to have fun, to live, or to take revenge, that makes no difference. Why do you even want to know that? Why don't you just tackle me and take me to the police? Look, there. The demon is trying to deceive you. その先本家当主跡継ぎ。ミオンでございます。本日はようこそ。その先本家においてくださいました。当主お寮に変わりまして、皆様にご挨拶申し上げます。皆様におかれましては、いろいろお尋ねになりたいことがおありのようす。私に
とにかくみーちゃんはリカちゃんとさとこちゃんをこれ弁解はしないよ私には鬼が宿ってる名前にも体にも心にもでも手を下したのは鬼じゃないその崎ミオンミオンが望んだからリカちゃんとサトコが死んだそれは変わらない<笑>レナの言う通りだよ Come on, Rena. Try to figure out who I really am. You still believe Shion, my victim, is the real culprit. Poor Shion. I'm making Brenna believe that you're responsible. That was it for Brenna, though. She couldn't figure out I was Mion. Brenna spoke to Mion. <laughs> Too bad, Rena. I've won. 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 i 何かな30分でいいからケイちゃんと2人きりにしてほしい。ケイチー looked startled to suddenly hear his name. You're so insensitive, ケイチー。That's what made my sister cry. ケイチくん、どうかな Probably not. ケイチくんが嫌なら、無理にとは言えない。<笑>そうだね。嫌ならそれでもいいよ。私は鬼だもの。ケイちゃんはよそから引っ越してきた。正真正銘の人間。愛入れることなんて、おやしろ様が実在して仲介してくれない限り、絶対にない。ケイチ hesitated a little。Come on, ケイちゃん、condemn me。condemn me and tell me why you'd never go。Oh, easy. Fool. Rena stood up. As promised, she made to leave. Oh, good, Rena. Here, I'm waiting for you. Kei ちゃんとは庭をぐるりと回りたいだけだから。退屈だったら私の部屋へ行けばいい。漫画とか好きに読んでていいよ。あ。なんだったらお気に入りの単行本丸ごと持ってってもいい嫌だよみーちゃんの本はみーちゃんのものだもの勝手にレナの家に持って帰れない<笑>あんたはこんな時に限っていい子なんだから I took Rena's head and rubbed it like Satsuki kun used to do to me じゃあ行こうケイちゃん The game was over. Too bad, Rena. At least this was more fun than if Kajon came alone. If he did, he could have asked me to run away with him after hearing my stories. Rena's eyes were like those of a judge. In those eyes, I sensed both affection and observance. I said 30 minutes, so she would probably only wait for 30 minutes. If I took even a second longer, she'd call Oishi. I'm a little disappointed. Rena still thinks I'm Mion. She didn't manage to see through me. I thought someone like her would see the demon in me. I guess I was wrong. Too bad. Keiji followed me after putting his shoes on. Such a humble request. I took Keiji's arm. It was as warm as Satoshi Kun's. I felt a little bewildered. He was remembering the time when I'd held his arm in town. I told him how my sister felt. 
She owns with satoshi -kun for a long time, but what they had was friendship. They never had anything more than that. That was why she fell in love with Keiji. If I were in her position, I would have also fallen in love with him. If Shion was able to fall in love with him, then I could fall in love with him too. Keiji smiled gently. I almost saw satoshi -kun in that smile. The Keiji I knew was worthless and superficial. I never realized he could smile like satoshi -kun. さあ、どうかな。ケイちゃんは自分の右手と左手は仲がいいと思うえ右手と左手それは仲がいいとか悪いとか、そういう言い方で例えるものじゃないな。そういう関係だから、仲がいいとか悪いとか、そういう尺度
Are you still going to think I'm your best friend? Poor Shion. Keichan is going to die thinking it's you who's killing him. You are such a fool. You don't sound cool at all. I don't understand human feelings because I'm now a demon. But I think I can understand why she loves you. I opened the iron door to the underground storehouse and beckoned Keiichi inside. Come on, Keiichi. This is obviously a trap, don't you see? This basement is transparently suspicious. Don't you think you should run to the police? But Keiichi was reckless. He swallowed and stepped inside. <laughs> you really are a fool. We went down the stairs to the basement, and I lent him into the torture room. Everyone is shocked their first time visiting this room. I used to be that way. Of course, Keiji looked surprised too, but he was trying not to show it. Obviously, he wanted to express his shock at seeing this horrifying room, but he also knew that if he voiced that shock, that he would be rejecting his best friend, who was trying to confess her sins to him. So he did everything he could to stifle his surprise. <laughs> ケイチ smiled quietly as he listened to me. No matter what cruelty came out of my mouth, he would embrace me. Was this really the superficial Keiichi Mayabara I knew? ここで私が殺した。見てくれている観客はいなかったけど、私は渡流しを上手にやって見せた。いや、観客は一人だけいたかな。え、観客？私、私という鬼がミオンの鳥を行う渡流しをずっと見てたから。I started to laugh. How many hints do you need, Keiji? When are you going to figure out I'm not really your best friend? Come on, hurry up, you're running out of time. The game is almost over. This was a game. This was a game of murder. I had killed people using my revenge for Satoshi-kun as an excuse. The demon was trying to capture Keiji and kill him before Mion's eyes. But Keiji had a chance. If he figured out it wasn't his best friend, then he'd win. If not, he was out. When did I come up with that rule? I guess it was some time today. Or did I come up with it just a minute ago? Since the two of them aren't too bright, I decided to be easy on them, I guess. You are Mion's best friends, right? Don't you believe in her? Have you already made Mion into a murderer within yourselves? Why don't you try to protect the Mion within you? Why don't you try to believe your friend can't be a murderer? If you could believe until the very end like Satoko did, you would have realized I wasn't Mion, your best friend, but just someone who looks like her. But if you can't, if you still believe that I'm Mion, then you're just like me. I killed the Satoshi-kun within me so easily, and you will do the same. You don't deserve to live. You're not going to make it. Once we reach Shion's cell, your time is up. The demon will win. Keiichi ran to the cell. Shion screamed. I was standing right behind Keiji. It was time. My preparations to kill the boy she loved were complete. For her, this was going to be the worst possible torture. Keiji tried to quell Shion's distress by talking to her in a calm voice. It was such a funny sight. Keiji was the only one who had no idea what was going on. Oh, 
落ち着けってしようもう終わったんだよ大丈夫なんだだから落ち着け安心しなよあんたは殺さないまだまだ殺さないんだから<笑>Here you are, demon. Go ahead and take my soul. I've been living my life to avenge Sashikun. But that wasn't what he wanted from me. This was just for my own satisfaction. I couldn't even face Sashikun. So I'll bring this to an end in the way I want. The world became a total mess. Sashikun hates me, and I hate myself too. I'm going to complete my revenge. I don't want anyone to sympathize with me. I won't pretend to be some tragic heroine either. I'm going to become a murderer that nobody can sympathize with. So please, grant a suitable final moment to me. A bluish white flash filled the huge cave. Keiji fell down like a doll. Shion reached out to him from the other side of the bars. She screamed at me not to kill Keiji. Go ahead, cry and blame me. Don't even think of offering your forgiveness. I'm the most rotten existence in this world. So please, grant me the worst possible ending. Shion begged me desperately to let Keiji go. I simply abused her, slandered her, and disgraced her. The more Shion suffered, the deeper I'd fallen to hell. It wasn't enough. It wasn't even close to deep enough. It wasn't deep enough to compensate for my sins. I dragged Keiji to the table that I tried to put Satoko on and restrained him there. Keiji began to move sluggishly. The stun gun must not have worked too well on him. Keiji squeezed out those words. He sounded good, like he was about to bite me. I smiled as I laid out the huge nails and hammer specially made for the nail table. あの子に自分のせいで死ぬ大勢の人の悲鳴をたっぷりと聞かせて体の芯まで染み通らせてから殺すのなかなかセンスいいでしょ誰だはミオンでしょその崎ミオン恐怖で頭が変になっちゃった
お前はミオンじゃないさっきまで一緒だったミオンを返せケイちゃん本当に頭は大丈夫恐怖で頭がどうかなっちゃった触るなこの鬼め返せミオンを返せよ俺の最高の友人だったミオンを返せ I listened to him with a blank expression. 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 I listened to h i t h a t s g r e a t <laughs> So I'm not Mion or Shion. He doesn't even see me as my sister. No, wait, that's not it. Keiichi protected the Mion in his heart until the end. He didn't accept the fact that Mion was a murderer. And not just that either. He protected the Shion in his heart as well. He didn't conclude that if Mion wasn't a murderer, then it must have been Shion. To Keiichi, Shion was someone who always made fun of Mion. But that was it. It wasn't like they'd known each other for a long time. But Keiichi protected her. He protected Shion from being a murderer. <laughs> That's why I'm a demon. And not Mion or Shion, huh? A demon. Huh? A demon. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> But isn't that just right on the money? <laughs> Keiji didn't back off. He kept screaming. He screamed loudly so that I could hear his voice even when I was stuck inside of a demon. Surely he isn't talking to me knowing that I'm the real Mion, right? He's just confusing us again. So there's no reason to let my heart to be disturbed by Keiji's screams toward Mion. He's right. I didn't fight back. How did he know? How did he know I didn't fight back? I lost to the demon. After all, I'm weak. I'm not strong enough to f defeat that demon. Even so, Keiichi continued to talk to Mion. His voice had become hoarse and he had begun sobbing. He kept mumbling Mion. Mion. どうしても知りたがっているようだから一つだけ教えてあげるよ私の中に鬼が宿ったのは随分前その鬼は私を蝕み教皇に駆り立てようとしただけれど私はそれを理性で押さえつけた鬼はそれで収まり私はその鬼はどこかへ行ってしまったんだと思い込んでいたでも本当は違った私の中から出て行ったんじゃなく私の中で眠っていただけだった That was the truth When I learned about Satoshi-kun's disappearance my weak soul couldn't take the sadness and anger filled me to the brim But the insanity had stopped there Time had healed me and embraced me with memories of Satoshi-kun その鬼はある小さなことをきっかけにまた目覚めてしまったそれは何に原因があったと思う It's such a little thing. 鬼の私が教えるのも変だけれどあんたがすべてをおかしくしてしまった元凶
A tear rolled down my cheek. あの時、あんたがもらった人形を躊躇なく私に渡していたなら、全ての異常は起こらなかったかもしれない。ケイちゃんには理解できないだろうね。理解できなくて当然。だけどね、そこからドミノ倒しみたいにパタパタパタと、
命乞いをするとかそういう考えは思い浮かばないよ<笑>約束二つじゃなくて三つにしていいか三つ目は俺を殺すなにしてくれ<笑>最初に二つって言ったでしょだからもうダメそいつは残念 Even in this situation, Keiichi and I joked around and laughed. <laughs> But then I knew. I knew why Shion fell in love with him. He's different from Satoshi kun, but he's a good guy. Keiichi smiled and then closed his eyes. みつめのねがいだけはきいてもいいよ。ひとつめのねがい。しおんをすくうこと。これはもうむり。しおんはおにがころしてしまう。それはもうきめられたことだからとめられない。だからあきらめて。I stroked Keiji's chin. そして二つ目の願い。この体をミオンに返すこと。これももう無理。今日を境にミオンが戻ってくることはもうない。今日以降、もし私の姿があったとしても、それは姿だけ。私の姿をした鬼だから。I've been hearing a noise. I knew what it had to be. Bang. Bang. A dull sound was repeating in a regular rhythm. It was accompanied by a light tremor. People were trying to force open the iron door to the underground storehouse. Really? I wonder how much Keichan really knows about Rena. Rena Ryugu. I won this time. Rena couldn't figure out who I was until the end. Or maybe she did. Rena didn't seem confused about whether I was Mion or Shion. Perhaps Rena could tell Mion and Shion apart through her sense of smell. She was good at that kind of thing. No way. I'm overestimating her. I brought out my stun gun so Keiichi could see the sparks. Saki,俺に比べたのはそれか。<laughs> Bang. They must have broken the first door. The path was complicated, but there was no other door except for the one to this torture room. Keiji bit down and smiled bitterly. I paused, hesitating a little. Keiji opened his eyes to see what was wrong. Keiji fell unconscious. I locked the door to the torture room. I locked the door to the huge cave, too. That should give me some time. I opened the cell and told Shion to leave it. She was crying. お姉はケイちゃんはスタンガンで伸びてるだけ
もうすぐ警官隊が来るから解放されるよありがとうありがとう<笑>でもシオンにはまだ用があるここから脱出するの I took Shion to the cell with the hidden passage. その前にシオンあんたにミオンを返すわ<笑>脱げその服交換だよまた What? ほら髪のゴムバンド Shion had no idea what was going on but she changed her clothes as I ordered her to I gave her the flashlight and she hung it around her neck あんたから先にどうぞ井戸の底にあるとかいう隠し通路を探すの The light from the flashlight wasn't enough to entirely illuminate the way down. Nobody in their right mind would want to descend that well. But Shion obeyed and timidly climbed down the ladder. When she had passed entirely below the rim of the well, I brought out my stun gun and put it to Shion's head. Shion understood the meaning of that. <laughs> お姉はちゃんと約束は守るよ。シオンの手足は手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手足の手まあ、指紋なんかでバレるだろうけどさその頃にはどこかへ身を隠してるってわけお姉もなかなかやるでしょ<笑>私を殺すとサトシの復讐になるそこまでわかってるなら覚悟はいいよねそこまで落ちてサトシ君に謝っといて。おねこの底にはねサトシはいないよ。What? はあんたら言わなかったっけここに捨てられてるって。その先家で殺されてればここに捨てられてると思う。そうは言った。物語に及んでややこしいことを言うね。もうちょっとわかりやすくお姉に言ってごらん私もねさサトシのこと好きだったんだよそりゃそうだろうねあたしが好きになるくらいだもんだからサトシが消えたときわたしも悲しくて悔しくてえっそれでばっちゃんにね締め殺してやろうってくらいにそしたらバッチャが次期当主にしか話さないよ絶対に内緒だよって What she said was something hard to believe The hag had said to Shion The Sonazaki family had nothing to do with the disappearance of Satoshi-kun Shion couldn't understand so she asked again The Sonazaki family held a lot of influence in the underworld because of our dad's connections In fact, they used such illegal measures during the dam conflict. Therefore, people just assumed the Sonozaki family had pulled the strings when the dam construction incident took place. Even the hag laughed meaningfully and said suspicious things, so everyone believed she was the mastermind. But it was all a performance. It was a hoax by the Sonozaki family head. It was just a bluff. The family took credit for the incidents to make it look like they were pulling the strings. With the influence they already had, this bluff was very believable. Therefore, people thought of the Sonozaki family as one that had deep connections in the underworld and that they were capable of producing any sort of conspiracy. People who believe that since the dam conflict, or people have believed it, or you just smiled at things she had nothing to do with, as if she was pulling the strings. When the relatives saw that, they became fearful of Oryu's power. When the dam construction site manager was killed, Oryu smiled meaningfully. When the relatives saw that, they assumed Oryu was behind it. When the Hojo couple fell off the cliff, when the Furude couple died violently, when Satoshi Kun's aunt had died and Satoshi Kun disappeared, the hag just smiled meaningfully. Everyone believed the Sonozaki family was behind all those incidents. 
あの事件がそのザキ家が関わってないってわけそんなの信じると思う私はバッチャがね嘘を言うとは思わないの特にサトシの思想については本当に知らないって言ったのだってサトシとお姉の交際バッチャは許したんだよ爪を見事剥いで見せたから全部忘れるって言って嘘だ嘘だ出まかせを言うなじゃあ誰がサトシ君を消したの誰がそれだけはわからないでもねそのザキ家じゃないバッチャじゃないあんただってタタリのシステムは知ってるでしょ別にサトシ君を襲えとわざわざばあさんが指示しなくても気を利かす誰かが襲う You just assumed that just like I just assumed it そういう仕掛けでしょうが<笑> She couldn't say anything in response Even if the hag had forgiven him personally as long as he was the object of the curse the executioner would follow him forever バッチャはねお社様のたたり誰が起こしてるのかなって長いこと調べたんだってだけど見つけられなかった誰もが村の中の誰かって信じてるのに村の中にそんな人は存在しないの存在しないしないならなんで毎年たたりが起きるわけおかしいよねでもいないのいないんだってフルでリカが私に首をかきむしる注射で襲いかかってきたってのは話したよねそれはどう説明するのキュウソ猫を噛むって状況じゃない向こうから訪ねてきて催涙スプレーと注射器で襲いかかってきたおそらく同じ注射で富武さんが殺されてるんだと思うそれはわからないリカちゃんがそんなことするなんて信じられないよ実際に見た私でも信じられないよあの死に方を見りゃねあの死に方を見りゃねあの死に方を見りゃねあの死に方を見りゃねあの死に方を見りゃねあの She didn't know anything about that scary drug, or if the Furude family was the one executing the curse. If the Sonozaki family had nothing to do with it, then who made this series of mysterious deaths possible? Was it just a coincidence that something happened five years in a row on the night of Watanagashi? Th that's impossible. A, a human must have made it happen. And it was all decided somewhere the Sonozaki family wasn't aware of. The Kimiyoshi family didn't know anything. K Kimiyoshi believed the Sonozaki family was behind it. Was it the Furude family? With Rika's behavior and the elderly people who believe in her so blindly, did some kind of power exist around the Furude family that created the curse? No way. The Furude couple themselves were victims of it. How could a little girl like Rika possess a power stronger than that of the Sonozaki family? No way. It's just impossible. In other words, I had killed the heads of all the three families and was trying to bring an end to the whole thing, all as a result of a misunderstanding about the dark secret of Hinamizawa. Then, what about my revenge? Did I kill all the wrong people? People who had nothing to do with Satoshi Kun's disappearance at all? Ha 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 ha! Do it, Shion! At the end of the end, I'll be able to repeat my own story. My mother! I believe it! I'm not a human being! I believe it! Shion begged, me, begged with tears in her eyes. That would have affected me if I was still Shion's sister. But I don't feel anything anymore, because I'm a demon. I'll be done once I kill Shion. I've already decided that. If I don't finish it up, what would my existence be for? What about the life I devoted to revenge for Sadashikun? How dare she tell me all this nonsense to confuse me at the very end? If what she said was the truth, then what I'd done wasn't revenge. It was just the curse of the fifth year. Shion, Anta ga hontou ni mujitsu nara. Anta wa tengoku e ikeru ne.
サトシ君に謝っておいてお姉天国でサトシ君に謝って私は天国には行けないから謝れない Instead, I'm going deep into hell. Jumping into this well would be too simple an atonement for what I've done. Until I find a perfect way to end my life, I'm going to live as best I can. God damn it! Notebook page 199. My freaking head hurts. Just. My freak. Achievement. Shocking end. Fuck you for that pun. Shion Sonazaki's last confession is dubious. Did the hag convince her that the Sonazaki family had nothing to do with it? Or is that the truth? In my own investigation so far, I've proven there are aspects of the curse which can't be explained by the Sonosaki family alone. So my notes were all bogus from the beginning. Those 200, these 200 pages are full of bullshit. I thought of burning this notebook, but I won't do it. This notebook proves my guilt. I won't distort the facts. I won't burn it. After all, my life was only a notebook long. I wonder if anybody will read this. If somebody does, please let them learn something from my stupidity. The series of mysterious deaths in Hinamizawa. Dubbed Oyashiro sama's Curse. If you're reading this, please find the truth. That's my only wish. 1983 06 01T 1100 hours, I guess. Mion Sonazaki. Oh my god. <laughs> my head hurts for many reasons right now. So now I'm thinking the Sonazaki family. I want to believe in Mion's words. That the Sonazaki family wasn't responsible for it. Going back on pretty much everything that I stated before. <sighs> Damn it. Shit. Well, ironically, I can kind of see why people hate Shion. Or sh Shimion. <laughs> Shion. But I still don't hate her. It's sad, but I can understand her more. I understand why she thinks the way she does. And I can understand why she pretty much did all this. I can't agree with it, but I can understand the situation that she was in, and I can understand why. Her path ended up so fucking distorted. <sighs> Damn it. And in all honesty, I just feel bad for her. I just feel bad for her. That whole scene, I will admit that whole scene with Satoko was very hard to sit through. And <laughs> I didn't even realize that my nails were digging into the skin on my arm. I don't know if I cut it out or not. I kind of had to stop recording and get some paper towels and tape it a little bit around here.
tried putting paper towels on this shit, just kept popping off, so I just went ahead and just kind of, um, wrapped it around here with some tape and all that. Looks fucking weird, but... Oh, God. Yeah, I can already assume some of the fucking blood is just kind of soaking through. Great. Fan how fucking how fucking deep did I cut? God damn. Oh, God. Ugh. This was a hard one to sit through. This was really hard to sit through. Honestly, Satoko's was the worst one. Honestly, with this, I don't even think I want to watch the anime of Higurashi. Because I don't think I'd be able to sit through that. I mean, hell, if the text is this bad, I don't think I would be able to sit through the animated version of it. Well, God, this, oh my God, this was a long one. I well, hope you guys enjoy the extra long episode of just me cringing the shit out of from everything, and I'm I'm just gonna go look up a bunch of videos of puppies and kittens and try to calm down. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in an, in the next video, possibly in a better mood. See you next time.